Hello people, today I'm going to be doing a review for Army of the Dead. It's the, the new Zack Snyder Netflix film. I'm really, I was really excited to watch this because, you know, he's right off of the Snyder Cut. And I'm really curious to see what else he can do besides comic book films because that's mostly of what I watched from him outside of 300. And that's about it. So, yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I watched this last night like around, like started at like around 9. And most of the time... I'm not able to get through two and a half hour movies when I started late on a Friday night because, you know, the week's over, I'm exhausted. So, yeah, this movie kept my attention from beginning to end. Most of the time I had to turn it off about an hour in and finish it in the morning. But this movie actually, you know, sat through the whole entire thing from 9.30 to whatever time it ended. And, yeah, it really is a fun movie to watch, um, and I had a fun time watching it. Though I was... I was going into this movie, I'm like, I want a Zack Snyder film that's Super Snyder, that has um, zombies, and I want the um, runtime to be super bloated, and yes, that runtime is super bloated, and I actually was kind of looking forward to a longer movie, but now having seen the movie, I can definitely say it could lose about half an hour. I really did want a bloated runtime, like I because I like longer feeling movies, I like movies that feel long. And this movie does feel long, but I really do genuinely think it can lose about half an hour and have the same exact impact. Um, and the biggest the thing I'm most split on with this movie, it's it's either I love it or it's overwhelming, and that is Zack Snyder being the director of photography. Um, he does this in and out focus thing, and some things, it really works sometimes, and it's really cool, and I'm like, I can't see any other director doing this I'm um, shooting this better and then there's some where it's just so much you're like okay you know stop it I just want to you know a regular looking scene here and um it's just he's trying to make every single shot of the movie the best shot you've ever seen and that is a very Snyder thing for him to be doing and I understand it it's it Zack Snyder it's what he does so um yeah it's just sometimes it's like sensory overload with his in and out um focus and then there's um you know, sometimes, it, heck, it provided my favorite part of the movie. It's towards the end of the third act, and it's this long shot of this zombie running towards this helicopter. And it, as he runs, as he, like, slows down running, and as he picks up running, you see him going in and out of focus. It's just, it's just really, really cool to look at. And immediately after that, it's slow motion, and it's just, it, I, I love it. So, like I said, like, I'm split on it. It's either, it's, like, either really cool and really well shot, or you're like, okay, stop it, because you're giving me sensory overload right here. The action in this movie is really well done, especially within the last, um, 45 minutes or so, especially the part in the casino. You see glimpses of it in the trailer, and it's just my favorite part of the movie. It's just Dave Batista shooting some, <laughs> a bunch of zombies. Excuse me, I do have a cough, so I might cough randomly throughout this review. So, just letting you know. The main zombie in this movie, I don't remember his name or so, um, he ha it's the zombie that had the metal helmet on. Um, he, he had quite a threatening presence, and I think whoever, um, whoever, I don't know if he's CGI, I don't think he's CGI, he looked too good to be CGI. Whoever played him did a pretty good job with, you know, just making zombie screams and, you know, emoting through the face, because, he, you know, these zombies are, are very interesting zombies. I really like his Snyder's take on zombies, and I know they're trying to build to her something in the future, but... And that's something that kind of irritated me. It felt like you can't just have an independent zombie movie without building, uh, you know, a huge franchise. But besides that, um, the ma the main zombie did have quite the threatening imp um, um, implications. And wh whoever did the um, who whoever played him just did a really good job. It really putting that presence of a scary zombie there. Dave Bautista is the lead of this movie. He plays Drax in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and he's been in some other movies, but um. I was very curious to see what he could do with this movie. This is the first movie I believe I've seen where he is the lead. I know he's been lead. He's been um, the lead in other movies, but this is the first one I've seen where he's been the lead. And for me, from what I've seen, he did a good enough job to. Um, um, he did what he needed to do, to do for this movie, but I think that um, he's still working on it a little bit. Of course, there are scenes where he's really good. I'm not gonna lie, especially towards the um, end. He has this one big climactic scene. It's just really he really does a good job with it, and he does a great job with a lot of scenes. It's just if there's some scenes here and there where I was like, you could do you could be doing a little bit better of a job than this. But that's just a nitpick. I think he's a fantastic actor overall, and I can't wait to see what he does in the future because I really think he has potential. Um, and the thing I like most about Zack Snyder movies, I haven't seen too many of his movies. Well, I've seen most of his movies. I just haven't seen Sucker Punch on the... <laughs> excuse me. I haven't seen the Owl one. And I think that's about it. Or Dawn of the Dead. I've not seen Dawn of the Dead. Um, 
when you get to the end of the um, end of each one of his movies, you realize what the movie is really about, and there's a, really a core to the movie that's a lot different than the movie that you just saw, which makes you want to go back and watch it again. And that's what I like about him as a director the most. He really, um, he makes you watch his movies again and really see his true implications uh, as a director. It really gives you a core to the movie, and I believe that this movie really does have that. Um, if you, because um, I already want to go back and watch this again. I feel like maybe I'll like it more the second time. Who knows? Because you don't really know what the emotional core is until you get to the very end, and it really does sell it well, I think. And, um, yeah, this was really a fun um, Friday night movie. It gave me um, some... It gave me some beautiful Snyder shots, I'll say that for sure, and some um, sensory overload shots where it's just a little much. It gave me the action that I wanted out of our Friday night movie. Um... Um, the cast did a pretty good job. It had it gave me that runtime I want, but you can still take out about half an hour. But it really feels like this is a Friday night movie to shove popcorn in your face and just have fun watching it. And because of that, I want to give it a 7.3 out of 10. Who knows? My my score could go up if I watch this a second time because I really feel like it has that emotional core um, that a, each Snyder movie has. And if you go back and watch it again, you could respect it more. I, I felt that with. Um, the Snyder Cut, I felt that with Man of Steel, and I felt that with Batman vs. Superman and Watchmen, which I still haven't even seen the director's cut of Watchmen, which I do need to check out at some point. So yeah, that's my review for Army of the Dead. So comment down below what you guys thought, if you're a Snyder fan, if you're just a movie guy. I mean, I'm mostly a movie guy, like I know Zack Snyder exists, and, I'm, and I like most of his movies that I've seen. So yeah, anyways, I really enjoyed this movie, so comment down below what you guys thought. So yeah, anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that, and adios.